developments in another major ongoing story this week, a meeting to set up another meeting. Four days into the pro-Palestine encampment at UW-Madison, that's where negotiations stand between protesters and UW administration. WMTV's Marcus Arswald is live at Library Mall right now. Marcus, students and protesters say they're both optimistic but also dissatisfied with the college right now. The main takeaway from the meeting this morning was that 24 hours that UW Chancellor says police will not clear this area. Students that I spoke with and a professor have mixed reactions. The Chancellor guaranteed that there would be no police action from now until that meeting. I mean, the meeting was really good. I mean, it was, it wasn't easy. Um, because people were frank, honest, which is good, right? Uh, I would say it was in good faith on all parties, and that was a really good thing, right? UW professor Samir Alatut is supporting student protesters and says there needs to be a power shift between school administration and students. The relationship between the, you know, the administration and the students has kind of a power dynamic that says the administration's way or rules have to go through and the students have to listen to them or be subject to violence. And I think that's really a, a, a very unfortunate outcome. Protest organizer Dahlia Saba says these meetings are a little too late, but she's hopeful their continued encampment could result in real change. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad to hear that the chancellor is addressing it, um, but I also think that she should be ashamed of um, the action she took yesterday. It shouldn't take public outcry for her to realize how bad it is that instead of talking to students, her first response was to deploy police force. Here's what we don't know yet. We don't know when that next meeting will be between the chancellor and between protesters. What we do know is that UW says they will mitigate any disruptions at commencement and that finals will remain as scheduled. For now, live in Madison, Marcus Sarsvold, WMTV 15 News.